China very much wants to give the impression that it is containing and controlling COVID and that these Olympics are not going to disrupt that at all. So they have imposed very strict measures for the games, um, building off of what Tokyo did last summer. What's going to be interesting is that they had not had a ton of cases of Omicron, and that appears to be changing just as the world is starting to arrive in, in Beijing. The IOC and Chinese authorities have said repeatedly that they believe that they can host the games safely without contributing to community spread, um, without compromising the integrity of the competition. Studies have shown, apparently, that having the Olympics in Tokyo did not lead to an increase in cases of COVID. So they're following that playbook very closely. The biggest change between these games and the Tokyo games is that almost everybody is going to be vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, you have to do a 21 day quarantine, which is simply a non-starter for an athlete. They are going to have to test every day. Everyone is going to have to track their health on an app, uh, meaning you know every morning, check in, log your temperature, et cetera. And then the other big change is the, this closed loop system. Supposedly, there's not going to be any interaction with anyone who has not been in this bubble, as opposed to Tokyo, which had after 14 days, if you had been in the country, you were allowed to take public transportation, go to restaurants. There will be none of that this time around with Beijing because they're really trying to keep a lid on this. The surge is unfortunate. It comes at the worst possible timing. And I think we have to assume that there's going to be an athlete, probably multiple athletes who miss the games because of not just having COVID, but when they have COVID. They're going to be very careful in these coming weeks because they don't want four years of hard work or a lifetime of hard work to be undone. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.